We're working with our friends and colleagues with California State Parks and the National Park Service to document the rich maritime history of the Sonoma Coast. Today we're at Fort Ross overlooking Fort Ross Cove, which starting in the 1850s through to the early 20th century was the stopping point for coastal schooners, later steamers that came to load lumber as well as bring produce to market as well as deliver people and goods on this coast before there was a highway or a railroad. In documenting all of this, we're tying it in using modern technology to satellite map, pinpoint features that are shown on old maps. We're diving, looking for the remains of some of the shipwrecks that were lost here, all told in these various ports. Close to 100 vessels were lost from the 19th century on into the 20th. And we want to see what's left of those. Some of them workaday schooners, as well as coastal steamers that once plied the coast as regularly as uh, aircraft today fly the skies. Behind me in the cove is the wreck of the Pomona, a steel uh, passenger and cargo steamer that wrecked in 1908, and it rests in anywhere from 15 to about 50 feet of water. The remains of the hull are spread out on the bottom with two of its boilers, its long propeller shaft, what was left of its engine, because Pomona over time has been salvaged starting right after the accident, but today it's a dive spot that most people don't know about, but if you do get a chance, you can see that was once a steamer is now a marine habitat, a little artificial reef, and uh, covered with marine growth that speaks to just what a wonderful part of the coast this is, and the fact